Hello everyone. Welcome to the YouTube channel of DU Beat. So in today's episode of Chai Chacha and Change, we are with the candidates of the upcoming Sarga elections. Hello everyone. Hi. Uh we are pleased to have you here and thank you for accepting our invite. Uh so please introduce yourself. Hi. I'm Kavya from Thrissur, Kerala. I'm a second year student in Lady Shri Ram College for Women and right now I'm running for the post of treasurer in Sarga election 2020. Hi, I'm Joel Diji. Uh, I'm from Kannur, Kerala. Uh, right now, pursuing B Honors Economics from Sri Venkateshwara College, and I'm contesting right now for the post of Vice President in the current Sarga elections. Hello, I'm Abhi Kiran. I'm from Palakkad, Kerala, and right now I am pursuing my B Honors English uh, graduation from Sri Venkateshwara College. And uh, I was the former Vice President of Sarga, and right now I am competing for the post of President in the Sarga election 2020. Myself, Alvin Alex. I am from the Kerala Kerala and uh, I am a BCom honors first year student from PGDAV college I am a candidate for joint secretary in Sarga election So Sarga uh, what is it exactly please uh, to someone who doesn't know about Sarga how would you explain it who does it represent what does it do yeah Okay so basically Sarga is South Campus Malayal Association okay and the uh, what to say the birth of Sarga was in 2017 that was 5 uh, years back and uh, uh, what to say in the in the initial stages or in the first stage uh, there were only 15 members in sarga there were only 15 members in sarga and right now we have about 1500 to 1800 members in sarga so we can see a drastic increase in the number of students or the drastic uh, what to say growth of sarga in this 5 years okay uh, so the reasons which led to the growth of sarga uh, there are several reasons but the main reason we said to the growth of sarga was as we all know uh, the colleges the delhi university colleges in the uh, north campus are more crowded so this uh, what to say this felicitate the students of the north campus especially malayali students to interact more and to build build more uh, unity among them the major reason which led to the formation of sarga was there are, there were several reason but the major reasons uh, which led to the formation of sarga was as we all know in the north campus the colleges are more crowded or the campus is more crowded so it uh, facilitate the students of north campus especially the malayali students to interact more and to build uh, or to extend the bond among the uh, or uh, to extend the unity among the malayali students of the north campus so it will be easy to address their problems and to uh, what to say uh, and to interact each other but the condition of the colleges and the malayali students of the south campus was different because as we know here the colleges are scattered or uh, the colleges are staggered because as uh, as we all know if sri venkateshwara is in satyanikayan uh, lsr is in lajpat nagar so we have that much uh, difference or distance uh, for such colleges okay so it was difficult or uh, what to say the interaction between the malayali students of south campus was very low or very low or uh, we can say it, there were no interaction between uh, the students of uh, the malayali students of the south campus so the, all this demanded the need of a organization for a better organization or a well functioning organization this led to the uh, need of a or all this demanded the need of a uh, well functioning organization for malayali students in the south campus this led to the growth of sarga so what have sarga done till now it's a great question so i have to i would like to address it from my point of view so i am a first year student i took admission recently and when i was taking admission in south campus uh, from the vast majority of uh, associations i didn't get a proper answer so on which college should i choose or uh, which college is better in my mark standard and uh, then i came to know about sarga and there i got the proper answer there i got the proper guidance and uh, i met a large amount of first year students who are getting proper guidance from sarga uh, sarga also provides great help in uh, provide uh, getting a uh, proper accommodation for first year students for every students um, in south campus and uh, they are there for the medical emergencies for the students um, then also when the colleges were switch, switching from an online mode to offline mode sarga helped us to cope up with that uh, transition okay thank you very much uh, but when you when i heard this answer uh, i just felt that uh, there is also another uh, malayali association as you all might know which caters to the uh, Uh, what to say needs of pan du uh, malayali students so it just uh, got me thinking like why is there a need for another organization separate from this one isn't it sufficing for all that's what what do you think about that 
uh, okay so when we look at the malayali crowd in du it's really high it's really a huge crowd so it is very difficult for a single organization to look after uh, the problems of all the students across the, all the uni- i mean whole the whole university is very difficult to look after the problems uh, along with problems uh, in the uh, cultural events or uh, in different programs it is very difficult to ensure the participation from the whole uh, i mean every campus like north campus south campus it is difficult Ob- obviously it will be difficult because the number is so high Uh, so in order to uh, cope up with that problem uh, sarga as an association was created specifically for the students of south campus so that a uh, bit more like a uh, bit more concentration can be given to the students of south campus as well uh, so that they can uh, participate and they can uh, be an active part of the university uh, so in that aspect uh, sarga has helped a lot so uh, like uh, one thing that i uh, that caught my attention when i listened to you guys was that uh, kela is very different from uh, delhi and lot of people find it difficult to cope up in delhi so i just wanted to know what are the issues that a malayali student faces when uh, they move and move to delhi study in delhi university and uh, how are you guys that i mean sarga helps uh, students with that i want to know about all right if we try to see it uh, you know before taking the perspective of you know kerala versus delhi you know there are a lot of basic elements that a student has to take care of when they come to delhi so uh, basic things like accommodation be it food be it the kind of uh, life ex- uh, expenses that we have uh, and everything basically the academic uh, rigorous schedule that we have in delhi university everything is quite different so uh, and you know and in addition to all of this the kind of world that we used to be in and the one that we are right now here in delhi are literally poles apart so it is definitely it's there comes the need of an organization where you know you have to feel like yes i belong here you know uh, and not feel like an outcast in a whole such a big crowd that here exists here in the delhi university so and in that aspect uh, sarga has done a really incredible job in even in my personal experience it has really helped a lot sarga has done many things uh, to cope up with the problems what are the problems is actually a great question uh many students face many uh, racist issues uh, me personally have faced many questions and uh, many people greet me like wanakam uh, and many people call me madrasi so as a student who face racism how much of you uh, can go and ask like why did you call me that why did you did this? you all need an association we all need a group of friends a group of people who come from the same society to ask like, the discrimination we face many fa- uh, so sarga provides a good pla- good platform for uh, for fighting against racism for fighting against uh, discrimination on the south the students from south side face also there are many students are facing health issues uh, many stu- students have some monetary issues Sal- sarga helps in that sarga is always ready to handle a medical emergency and sarga also handles any kind of emergencies any kind of monetary em- emergencies for the students and so sarga also provides um, meetups trips to, uh, to help students to cope up with this atmosphere like they we don't want anyone to get alienated here that's really nice uh, you know. yeah and uh, like uh, uh, your uh, need for an association is uh, very apparent from the number of malayali students studying uh, in delhi university and uh, last year particularly we saw a lot a uh, lot of malayali students coming to delhi university and uh, there was also a lot of issues associated with it and uh, with that uh, in consideration it's also noteworthy to note that uh, uh, the admission have been now shifted to a entrance test so how do you think that will uh, impact the admission of malayali students and uh, uh, how is uh, sarga doing uh, anything is it, is sarga doing anything uh, to negate it or to help uh, malayali students in that regard Okay right now regarding this topic Sarga is conducting a survey among its men- members and uh, we are getting uh, mixed uh, mixed type of uh, what to say responses from the side of the members of Sarga and uh, uh, in my personal opinion i do believe that uh, for or uh, to a certain extent uh, what to say the transition from the uh, normal mode to the entrance mode uh, 
it will uh, what to say there are more uh, remote areas uh, in the entire part of the country or especially in kerala there are many remote places and there are excellent students in all these places okay so uh, the there ha they uh, there is more recognition for the entrance examinations like uh, iit je neat uh, like medical and engineering entrance examination among these children but uh, what to say Uh, Delhi University is a prestigious university and it's a popular university but the popularity is not uh, much among these students or uh, these areas so if it uh, what to say uh, comes under a banner of an entrance examination it will gain the popularity among these uh, students and i do believe that in the uh, foreseeable future the cuset or cu et uh, examination will what to say uh, will transform into a greater examination like iit je and or like uh, a neat examination so uh, i believe that the popularity will will be more and the what to say the uh, admission to the uh, delhi university or the students from all those areas can uh, enter uh, the university through entrance examination on the other side there is also a problem because as we know the financial condition of everyone is not similar okay so if uh, what to say as i said in the foreseeable future if cucet gain much popularity as like iit or uh, neat examination or engineering examination the competition for it will be high very much high so so as we know uh, there are so much institute and uh, the competition is much high for examinations uh, like uh, uh, engineering and medical entrance examination so it will be the same condition for cuet also okay guys and bahut chacha ho gaya so let's have some chai we have to justify <laughs> the name of the episode so uh, let's have a drink and um, yeah also uh, you guys are going to be the uh, you guys might be the face of the next uh, sarga uh, council or whatever uh, yeah might be and you uh, so yeah you might be uh, the face of this so i also want to know what are your plans for uh, the next session like what are you guys planning uh, on doing and all just an insight into it All right. So, like it's already said, uh, you know, we began out. Sarga began out as a team of 15 students, and now the number has reached over 1,500, and that too over such a short span of time. And it's an incredible change if you look at the trajectory. So, and it's if if it has got a lot of attention like this, it is some it is a really big opportunity to develop. And in that sort, we can you know there are a, you know a lot of programs, cultural and academic and career related programs that we could arrange in this aspect uh, related to uh, Sarda. And yeah, and I guess. Uh, and also along with that uh, we can arrange many culture like already there are many cultural programs or cultural fest or meetups which is organized by sarka but along with that uh, if we provide like uh, maximum the sarka right now is trying to bring representation so along with that uh, right now our sarka is also organizing a lot of cultural fests a uh, lot of meetups so that students can come together they can interact with each other and like providing a, a stage for everyone so we can uh, get a step higher by uh, providing representation from each and every college like each and every college uh, there has to be a representative and uh, we can organize many programs like uh, dance programs or music programs or such programs can be organized uh, also we can like uh, yes there is a youtube channel for sagar right now in that we can build upon like uh, we can make documentaries upon the campuses of south campus uh, colleges of south campus Uh, because uh, right now when we see uh, when the students come to the delhi university when they look into the of course when we do something we look into the reviews in youtube so when the students look in there is a lot of content uh, regarding the north campus but uh, the content in uh, of the south campus is really low so we can uh, like provide a bit more content by making documentaries upon south campus a campus tour or a uh, like college tour uh, location of the college information about that uh, that would be a great help to the newcomers so that can be done and uh, in a, in addition to this like uh, since it it is it is catching a lot of eyes and right now the sponsorships that we have are we uh, take into consideration the the programs that we take uh, we are going to take up this will definitely get a lot of attention and we can actually use that to uh, fund and create uh, you know develop the organization in that sort of a way 
so for example let's just say that uh, we get more uh, you know we can conduct more offline programs and uh, you know conduct sessions uh, in terms of you know cultural sessions as well as career oriented sessions uh, that will specifically cater to the needs and i'm definitely sure if we have the if we provide the uh, definite number of viewership we will have tons of sponsorships and in that way we can make sure that the lack of funds or any other resources for that matter does not you know be a, a hindrance towards what the student community would actually need at this you know moment of especially with all these transition from offline to online and online to offline happening okay that's really nice guys you will have some solid plans for what you're going to do so uh, best of luck on that and uh, best of luck on your elections as well and uh, yeah thank you for coming here i really enjoyed the charcha with you guys and i hope you enjoy the charcha and chai as well uh, so yeah um, yeah i really got a lot know a lot about uh, sarga uh, malayali sindhu and i hope our viewers did as well so again thank you all for coming here and making it worth it thank, thank you thank you, thank you for having us